Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So I've been spending a lot of time recently customizing my dev environment so everything is just as I like it, and that's no easy feat. So a lot of stuff like this actually makes me enjoy coding more, and I feel like it just makes my experience so much smoother because things are just easy to find, and it's like faster, and I have a bunch of shortcuts, and everything looks pretty, so I thought I'd share some of it with all of you. So my go-to code editor for the last several years or so has been Visual Studio Code, and I just love the fact that there are so many extensions, so many customizations you can make, and everything just runs smoothly in this neat IDE. So today I thought I'd share some more customization tips and dev environment tips and tricks that I use in Visual Studio Code uh, to be able to get the environment just how I like it. All right, so Visual Studio Code, right there. Let's jump right in. My first favorite has made reading code that much easier for me. Coming from a JavaScript background, I've gotten lost in nested blocks multiple times. Having this makes it a lot easier to highlight which block I'm in and help me make sure I'm closing my brackets correctly. It also just looks really nice and adds some color to the hundreds of lines of code that I end up reading. This is another one that adds some more color and readability. With better comments, you can add some symbols to comments to color code them accordingly. For example, some default ones include an exclamation mark for important comments, a question mark for questions, to do for to do comments, and an asterisk for bolded comments. All of these colors are configurable and you can even add your own decorations. The comment styles are picked up automatically per language. For example, hashtag for Python and slashes for JavaScript. And look how readable that is and how colorful it looks and look how pretty it looks. Getting comments like this actually makes it so much easier to read. And it also just highlights your code even more. Material icon theme adds some nice little icons to your files based on the file type, making it easy to quickly find a specific file at a glance. For example, if I create multiple different file types in this project, you can see them all being color coded and having a clear symbol for each type. You can see here that the Python file has its own Python icon. And the CSS file here also has its own icon and the angular.json file has a little A next to it to make it clear that it's an angular file. And when you try to search for specific files using control or command P, you can see that the search results also have the icons by the file names as well, making it that much easier. By the way, remember when I set up my terminal to use Z shell in one of my previous videos? Well, I definitely want to be able to use my favorite shell with my favorite IDE, so this extension lets me do just that. I needed to install a subsystem to be able to pull that off, and with remote WSL, I can leverage this system to use my beautiful Z shell. That means I have all my extensions and autocompletes, and it's great. Here's a link to that video if anyone's interested, and you want to add even more customization to your workspace. It's pretty great, I would recommend it. Coverage Cutters is an extremely helpful extension, and one I used a lot at work when writing unit tests for some Angular applications. What it does is that it lets you view your coverage per file right in your editor. If your coverage report is the right type, so an ICOV style, you can right click in your file and show coverage to see which lines aren't yet covered in your unit test, so you can update them accordingly. If you watch the file while you rerun the generation for your coverage report, it'll automatically update it for you as well. So you can see here when I add the new function and rerun the tests, it'll actually show that that line over there, line 24, is not covered. If you choose to use your new Z shell terminal, make sure you point your Chrome bin variable to the actual Chrome extension you have installed on your computer as well. You'll also want to create a new folder called TMP under your C drive so that Chrome can access it for any temporary files it creates during testing. That's something I had to do to get the test running properly. This one's really helpful if you're writing a lot of front-end applications. CSS Peak lets you view the styles for a specific element or class in your HTML file just by control clicking the element or class you want to see. It's extremely useful and definitely saves you from having to open a bunch of style sheets and having to look for the element you want. GitLens is one of my favorite visibility tools. It basically shows you the Git status for each line in a file. At a quick glance, this includes the author, when the changes were made, and the commit name. If you hover over this, you get a lot more details and options like the hash, the option to open it in GitHub, view the diff, and you can even start a discussion or open a live share session right in the IDE. Live share is another great extension we'll get to later too. Overall, this extension is pretty powerful with useful information at a glance and a lot more if you want to see it. This one's really useful for formatting your code and making it look nice. Prettier allows you to format your document with a few keyboard shortcuts. By using Command or Control, Shift, and P, you can format your entire document, which is great if you haven't spaced things, nested, or indented things correctly. 
I personally use this a lot when I'm copying out JSON responses. I want to look at them in even a remotely readable form. And now I don't have to scroll all the way to the right forever to try to find the thing that I'm trying to find. There's a lot of language specific extensions out there and I strongly recommend downloading the one for your language if it's available. For example, Ruby and Python have their own language specific extensions. In Python's description, it gives you linting, IntelliSense and debugging. Another Python specific extension I came across was PyLance, which basically boosted the IntelliSense capabilities of Python in VS Code. I definitely haven't used it to its full potential yet, but I've been loving it so far to type and find things quickly. On this entire list, this extension is by far my favorite. When it comes to pair or mob programming with multiple people, it's absolutely game changing. LiveShare lets you set up a session with multiple people so that you can all view and edit code in real time together. It's like a giant Google Doc, but with code. You can even share your terminal with others. There were times on my team we would just spend the entire day pair programming together instead of screen sharing, since we could actually hop around the code ourselves and easily follow people with the follow button, so we could see what the other person was looking at and help them out. Honestly, thank you Microsoft. And shout out to my friend Owen for helping me film this part because I can't exactly demo live share by myself. This last one is for all you data lovers out there. Code Time is an extension that does exactly what it says. It lets you see how much time you've spent coding, on which projects, and a few extra fun details on how many characters you've added and stuff like that. Music Time is just another one that's completely for fun. You basically connect your Spotify to it and it looks like a project, except you can actually play music with it. You select what you want to hear and it'll play it through Spotify. It'll also recommend some songs and show you which songs are your most productive. And you can go to the online dashboard to find out even more information about the songs you listen to and how they help your productivity. All right, and that's a wrap for my customized version of VS Code. I hope this gives all of you some inspiration to add some of these extensions to your own environment. And if anyone else has any cool VS Code extensions that they want to share with me, because I am always looking to customize my environment even more than it already is, please let it me know in the comments below. And if you want to customize your dev environment even more on Windows or on Mac, or anything. I also have another video over here, or I guess here, here. I have another video over here that will tell you how you can customize your ZSH shell to be able to use a bunch of really cool extensions that I found in my time using ZSH. All right, thanks for joining me on this video and stay tuned for the next one next week. See you soon, friends.